And that brings us to the Democrats. Less than a minute after the polls closed, officials called the win for the former Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton. We have to make America whole. We have to fill in. Fill in what's been hollowed out. And here are the results from both candidates in Virginia. Hillary Clinton getting 64% of the vote. Bernie Sanders coming in at 35%. Let's take out the 10 on your side. Liz Palka. Liz, you're in Norfolk where Clinton's campaign volunteers watch those results come in. Some happy people there, I'm sure. Oh, that is right, Tom. We had some very happy people here at Guads on Granby Street. In fact, we're taking a peek inside the door right now. Some of them are still here, although most of them have, have gone home at this point. But they've been watching the results come in. Many of them got up and voted today. Then they went straight to the campaign office to make phone calls on behalf of Clinton. Take a listen to what they had to say tonight here at their watch party. I knew we had it. We had it, right, guys? Yeah. We worked hard enough. I think both the Clinton campaign as well as her supporters and Democrats, uh, we don't take anything for granted. So we know that if she becomes the nominee, we have a lot of doors to knock on, a lot of phone calls to make, a lot of yard signs to put out, and we have to get our people out to vote. About 25 people gathered here at Guads to watch the results come in. Many of them longtime supporters and volunteers for Clinton. They told me they often hold phone banks at the Norfolk campaign office or even meet at restaurants to make calls on behalf of the Democratic frontrunner. They also wanted to see who won on the Republican side. They were paying close attention with some strong opinions on Donald Trump. Donald Trump, in a way, is the best thing that can happen to the Democratic Party because there's going to be so many people that are going to mobilize to make sure that he never becomes president. So what happens tomorrow for all these volunteers? Well, they say it's back to work. They're going to be go back to their grassroots efforts of uh, canvassing and holding phone banks in local restaurants, and they say they're going to get it done. Live in Norfolk, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.